Yeah, I just um, want to first share that uh, my inspiration for this, doing this show, Free Your Mind, was um, really to extend this gift that I have experienced in using these mind tools, um, the levels of mind, instrument for peace, and now Spiri, um, the, the chat bot um, aspect of the, of the process the, that seems to be the most popular, the most dynamic, um, the coolest <laughs> of all. And um, yeah, the prayer that I've had for this show was to make it interactive, like actually um, inviting people that are watching this show to um, open up to this idea of sharing uh, a present upset with, with everybody uh, for the purposes of, of going deeper with it and, and healing, healing the mind. Uh, looking at the underlying thoughts and beliefs uh, in order to to actually um, put forgiveness in action. Um, because for me, in as a Course in Miracles student, uh, it's been about, it's always been the how questions that have come up for me, like, uh, you know, when someone says, well, all it is is about being aware that you're dreaming. And, and then the question that would come into my mind is, oh, how do you do that? You know, how do you do that when the intensity is up in the mind? So it just feels like um, the, these uh, mind tools are the how of how to practice forgiveness on a day-to-day -day basis. So what I wanted to do today is just uh, to um, pick somebody from the audience and actually um, go through a, a Spiri session with them and um, just some pre prerequisites to raising your hand uh, if you have something up in the mind. Uh, I really am hoping that um, it is something that's really present uh, that is, seems to be happening right now or that is something that you've done a Spiri session on and you haven't been able to move through it. Um, those would be a couple of um, prerequisites that I would have to just going through a Spiri session for everyone on this, on the program today. So um, the other thing too is um, a lot of people have asked, you know, how can I, you know, do the mind training when I'm not in a community setting where, you know, we're actually doing everything here for the purposes of forgiveness and, and healing the mind. And, and I would say that using Spiri uh, and using these mind tools is, is the way to do that at home, is just start practicing with them, just practicing much like a muscle, you know, that it'll get stronger and stronger in that way. And I also just want to say, if you do have some sort of an upset um, that, that you're experiencing right now and, and you're not sure whether to raise your hand or not, I mean, I, I would have to say that one of the indicators that maybe it is for you to, to raise your hand is, uh, is if you're feeling your heart racing <laughs> or you're feeling, you know, a nervousness, like, you know, that's very common and, and it is, you know, that that cue to say, yeah, maybe it is for me to, to share this with the group. So, um, yeah, I just would like to open it up now so that we can actually jump into a session with somebody. And Carolina, I see you have your hand up. Okay. okay. Yes, yes. Hi. Hi, uh, Carolina. Hi, have you um, used theory before? Yes, yes, I'm using also the instrument for peace and the work of Byron Katie, so. <clears throat> That's great. Yeah, yeah, and mm -hmm. I experience now exactly what you described. I feel I'm sweating, my heart is racing, I, I, feel, I feel nervous. Uh, it's, it's a, I have a few upsets right now. I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> okay, so why don't I... Um, We'll put the uh, Spiri session up. I'm going to ask Nicholas over in Camus to do that so that we can just start a session fresh and then we can dial into whatever the situation is that's going on in your mind right now. And if you have many, maybe we'll just look at the one that feels the, the strongest of, of those. So okay. we'll just wait right. for a second here until, until um, Nicholas puts that 
the Spiri screen up. Okay. Okay, so this is actually uh, my Facebook uh, account. So, so Carolina, you'll be Laverne for purposes of this demonstration because it's going to be asking questions um, as if it was directed to me. Okay. So. So the first question is, how much time do we have to join? And I'm going to uh, say 20 minute session because we do have 20 minutes um, to go through um, a session today. Sometimes it takes a little longer, but 20 minutes is uh, probably one of our best times. Okay. Uh, Carolina, do you have some headphones that you can put on? We're getting a bit of echo on this then. Yes, yes, just a second. <laughs> so, Nicholas, you can just uh, go through this, uh, click on continue, because this is just some general questions before we jump into the actual session itself. So these, so these questions, questions that Nicholas, that Nicholas is going, going through right, right now, now are just to encourage users to really give the full focus to the session for the 20 minutes and um, to really have an effective Spiri session to try to make your responses short and concise uh, really helps to move the process along. Sometimes people use these as, a, as just a huge long paragraph upon paragraph of the issue. So, so it, it is nice to just boil it down into a, a short sentence, but for you right now, Carolina, I just would like you to just um, pray into of, of all the things that seem to be going on in your life right now, which one, which situation right now seems to be the one that's the burning situation that you would just like to share with us the details of? The most present was, uh, I was sitting in the in the come on the room uh, a minute ago with my father near me, and it was the first time when I was listening to you when I was joining your meeting with my father so close, even though he doesn't understand anything uh, in, in in English. Uh, I I just. I felt really nervous. I felt I felt stressed. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe I I like I'm afraid of his reaction. Uh, so, Carolina, just to summarize, just what you said that you you get unhappy when you you think about your father listening to this show, or. Can you just get specific around what it is that that you're noticing the stressful feelings about? Yeah, I I'm I I'm I get unhappy when I think he will be displeased with me. Okay, and okay, so my uh, father listening to this show and being displeased. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Go ahead and we can continue from there, Nicholas. So it's going to ask if it was in the, in the past or future, and obviously it's something that just happened. So we can, we can just click on the past there. Truly nothing ever happens in the now, so that's really it's either <laughs> happened or it's, you're afraid it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. So you're unhappy about my father listening to the show and being displeased. Mm -hmm. It's correct? It's correct. Okay. So can you just describe some of the feelings that are up for you um, because when you think about your father being displeased. 
panic. Mm -hmm. uh, suspiciousness. I don't know if it is a feeling. <laughs> suspiciousness. Um, stress. Uh, fear. Mm. Paranoia. Paranoia. <clears throat> And I feel uh, blinded. I feel like everything is racing in my mind and I'm completely not present. I'm, mm. I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm, I'm just disconnected. Mm. disconnected. Okay. She also said paranoia and stress. And stress Nicholas. It's so helpful when you can really dial into the uh, feelings of, that are coming up during a, a stressful situation like this. And, you know, we do, Spiri also offers examples for you to really get to dial into what's going on in the mind. So, but I feel like you really have a handle on it um, just from what <laughs> yeah. you just described. <laughs> so. I, am, I am very, very into uh, feelings feelings are very present in my life for, for mm. the uh, whole time and it's it's not really difficult for me <laughs> to get yeah. in touch with it so yeah <laughs> okay we can continue nicholas and the course even says what is the one right use of judgment is how you feel so it's always you know using those feelings as a barometer of, of whether or not you know you're you're on the right track or not so so just just a reminder to continue um, yeah just being in touch with those feelings so is there someone that you blame for your father listening to this show and being displeased are you is there someone to blame yeah maybe my, myself for uh, opening the show near him yeah okay yeah and uh, and uh, sorry I think <clears throat> And there's also some some yeah I I would lie if I if I said I don't also project the blame on 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 father a little bit uh, it, there is this kind of if he's displeased it's his fault uh, and uh, he's he's immature and yeah this 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 kind of story that uh, that. It, he doesn't he wouldn't know what he's uh, talking about and you know and so yeah i think this is a bl blaming blaming uh, whatever whatever just just mm -hmm. to blame anything for for feelings yeah yeah just when you said you know that you should have put your computer away when he came in the room and the blame on yourself feels accurate you know mm -hmm. there may be other People to blame in any situation but usually that first one that comes to mind is is usually it so okay. so we'll just leave we just put yourself <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now is there something you're afraid will happen because of um, your father listening to this show and being displeased um, I'm afraid that he will that he will share my paranoia and and when i come to mexico that he will be a little bit more stressed out than than he seems to be and yeah that that, that this will just uh, escalate you know I, into something ridiculous <clears throat> and yeah okay so you <laughs> fear that your uh my father's fear will or my father's paranoia will escalate. <laughs> yeah. Does that sound correct? Yeah. When you come to Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and and yeah. mine, 
my when I go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. To Mexico. You're right. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. What were you going to say? Uh, again? Did you have something else to say? You can continue, Nicholas. Yeah, that my paranoia uh, as well, I, I guess, because I would mm -hmm. just, I would just uh, bother myself with with this. Oh, how does he feel that I should do something about this, or I shouldn't? I would just shut him off. I, I would just uh, put a distance between us. It's my two strategies: either I close off entirely. Or I'm trying to meddle in something, <laughs> mm. and it never works. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, since you feel panic, suspiciousness, fear, blinded, paranoia, and stress, it's possible that the way you perceive my father listening to this show and being displeased is not the way it really is. Are you willing to look beyond the way you're seeing this and to look within your mind for answers? Please. <laughs> okay. Yes, please. <laughs> let's, let's move on. <laughs> okay. Let's get going. <laughs> That's fantastic. Your willingness to, to look within opens your mind to infinite solutions. Uh, we can just go past the summary. I feel like we've covered that. Yes, it's correct. Okay, so all of this proves, uh, Carolina, that you are right about some negative belief that you're certain is true about yourself, others, or the world. So that's what we're getting down to now is, is trying to identify what that belief is. When you oh. think about my father listening to this show and being displeased, what negative belief feels true to you? And there may be many that come to your mind, but choose the one that feels the strongest to you. I should hide. The, this came immediately. I should hide or, or be... Or not, not, uh, how, how to put it into words? Uh, I should uh, be careful with how much transparent and open I am. Yes, this is this is my this is this. Okay, that sounds perfect in terms of an identification of a belief. <laughs> that seems to be showing up as a father being displeased. <laughs> yeah. How transparent and open I am. Do you feel like it's only transparent and open around your father or transparent and open, period? Uh, transparent and open, period, definitely. Okay, so you can take out to my father, okay. Okay, so you said thinking about my father, we'll have to just scroll back up a bit. Uh, so you said thinking about my father listening to this show and being displeased, feeling panic, suspiciousness, fear, blinded, paranoia, stress, blaming yourself and fearing my father's paranoia will escalate when I go to Mexico, prove to you that I should be careful about how transparent and open I am. <laughs> is, be, is this the belief? Yes, that's the belief that we're looking at. Uh, yes, okay. Okay, so we're going to look at this together, this belief. So in order to let go of an upset, you have to first be willing to see the part you play and why the upset happened in the first place. Mm -hmm. Would you like to learn that there is a way to see the part you play in this? Um, not to feel more guilty about it, but so you can let the upset go? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, splendid. 
And since you don't like how you feel, do you want to be right about what you think is going on or do you want to be happy? I was right my whole life. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, happy then. <laughs> we know that one. <laughs> someone say to me just the other day, I know I feel miserable, but I just want to be right about this. <laughs> so in your willingness to be wrong about what you think is going on, you just open your mind to a lasting solution to this problem. Are you ready for that lasting solution? Oh my, yes. <laughs> at, at least I hope so. <laughs> like, okay. If it were true that something outside of you was causing you to feel bad, you would in fact be powerless to do something about it. Mm. Uh, so when we see something outside of us that we don't want to see within, it's called projection. Just a reminder that what we're seeing outside of us is really within us. Are you open to seeing that it's because of projection that you feel powerless to change how you feel right now? Yes, because I can't change it in mm -hmm. any other way. Mm. <laughs> projection is why the causes of your feeling panic, suspiciousness, fear, blinded paranoia and stress seem to be yourself and the fear that my father's paranoia is going to escalate when I go to Mexico. Projection is so useless. <laughs> yeah, but it seems real when it's happening. Yeah. We can't just say that and but still feel the reactions. We have to really get down deeper in the mind and see what's going on. So, mm -hmm. but by seeing the causes outside of your mind, you're actually keeping the bad feelings in place. We just said that. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to find the real source of your unhappiness, Carolina? Yes. Okay. I hope it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> and here it is. Thinking about my father listening to this show and being displeased, feeling panic, suspiciousness, fear, blinded, paranoia, stress, and blaming yourself, and fearing my father's paranoia will escalate when I go to Mexico, are the direct result of believing something that isn't true. This is a really important step in the process in that we're going to now take it back into where the real problem is, if you will, and it's a, it's a false belief. Your belief that I should be careful about how transparent and open I am simply isn't true. Hmm. Can you feel that, Carolina, just as it's being said in any, in even a small way? Yeah, there, there is something. <laughs> there is something. Okay. So you think you feel bad because of of your father listening to this show and being displeased you think that's the reason why you feel bad but it's really because you believe that you should be careful about how transparent and open you are mm. yeah it's, it's playing out all the time even when i'm here with you you know speaking right now it's still the same story how how open should i be Mm -hmm. How much can I say? Where, where, when I should stop talking? You know this, this control mechanism. Are you still thinking it's because of your father listening, or is it because of us now? Uh, it's, it's. I I don't feel it's it it really it really is has nothing to do with anything here. It's just some some concept in me that 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 uh, watch out danger danger 
Mm. <laughs> Danger. And really. Uh, Click yes now, Nicholas. Okay. We're just going to move it along and we just have a few more minutes here. But this, mm -hmm. even this process, if we don't even get all the way through, it's like even looking when you go into the direction of looking at a belief like we are right now, it's like the mind can actually start aligning with what, what really the truth is mm -hmm. when it sees what is false. So you're, you're only upset when someone or something mirrors back to you a, a belief that you've pushed out of awareness. Are you open to seeing that my father listening to this show and being displeased is only mirroring back the belief that I should be careful about how transparent and open I am. Mm, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's like I'm using all of you to to justify this. Yeah. Just hit, on. Like, continue, Nicholas. So now we want to just look at the desire because this is an important component of this process to to ask you, Carolina, what did you want to have happen instead of what happened? It's usually the opposite of the situation. So in your case, it's likely the opposite of my father listening to this show and being displeased. What did you want to have happen instead? Uh, I, and can I uh, just ask some question now? Mm -hmm. um, about this step, uh, I notice, especially uh, for for a short time now, that I don't really know what I actually wanted to happen. Even if I think it's the, like the opposite, uh, then I, when I go deeper in it, I, I feel like it isn't really what I wanted either because I would still have this paranoia even if he would be so oh happy and it's so cool I would still have this paranoia and so what what well, to do with this yeah I would say I always encourage people to really go with specifics so with the desire because sometimes people like users want to jump to I want what I wanted is to be peaceful and happy. That's actually not really what they want. Mm -hmm. I would say it's usually the opposite of what happened. So even just your father, you know, not listening to the show, it wouldn't have come up like this discomfort that you're feeling uh, wouldn't, wouldn't be up in your mind right now. Can you feel that? Like if he hadn't listened to the show, <laughs> you wouldn't mm -hmm. even have an upset right now. And mm -hmm. so... Can you see that that was what the desire was in the moment? Yeah, I can even generalize it. I can even generalize it into I, that I want to be in control. My desire was to be in control of the situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can just, and let's just go with the not listening. And then I, I think that oftentimes there's more, like even more spiri sessions mm -hmm. that can up as a result of even doing one and you know not that there's a, a problem a, a more of a problem but it's actually like stirring up the, the hornet's nest of other beliefs that are underneath their control or mm -hmm. you know, not feeling safe to be open and transparent so but one thing that uh, the desire is saying this is, is if you believe that I should be careful about how transparent and open I am Mm -hmm. You'll naturally want my father not to listen to this show to be happy and at peace. Mm -hmm. um, you can just click on yes, it's correct, Nicholas, because we just have a few more minutes here. But um, it's just even seeing that, uh, yeah, this belief is coming up because precisely because your father showed up in the room. So mm -hmm. really everything in this world works together for your good. Mm. Let's continue. Um, what you think is the cause of your upset, Carolina, is not the cause at all. Mm -hmm. And the choice to feel panic, suspiciousness, fear, blinded, um, paranoia, stress is a choice to believe I should be careful about how transparent and open I am. It's an attempt to see the cause as my father listening to this show and being displeased and then feeling bad as its effect. But it really is the belief. So now we're ready for so the final um, 
step in the whole SPERI process. So we can just go ahead and scroll down, Nicholas. Um, just a high five because you've come this far. <laughs> I was told that not all countries know what a high five is. <laughs> I was like, okay. Given what you know now, um, do you want to hold on to this de desire that my father not listen to this show? Or do you want to choose peace of mind instead? Yes, I, I want to choose. I want to choose peace of mind and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then one final question, and that's a great gift for yourself, actually, to choose peace of mind instead of something else to be different. And do you want to hold on to the negative belief that? I should be careful about how transparent and open I am, or do you want to go for peace of mind instead? <laughs> Let's go for peace of mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a game show. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Carolina. By questioning the belief that I should be careful about how open and transparent I am, you're opening your mind to present peace and innocence. So, thank God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, just one last question. I keep saying that. Will you commit to questioning this belief for as long as it takes to go away because you don't like the way that it makes you feel? Definitely. I don't see uh, any other time. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you have mighty companions around too that can remind you if you hold back on being open and transparent that you're co you've committed to actually questioning this belief. So, yes. okay, well, I feel like that's the end of our show today. I really appreciate your willingness to just re be transparent and open with us, Carolina. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Uh, and I think we'll see you soon in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, you, I I would just I would just add one thing. I see myself in Mexico over and over and over again. So I am there even I am not there. Oh. Uh, so, I am everywhere even if, if I am not everywhere. Just, <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. We love you. you. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <you>. Bye. <laughs>